A very big hello to my cutest champions out there. I hope everyone is doing pretty good. Yes. So now, my dear children, this video is very, very, very into the power infinity or in multiplied by infinity, my dear children. Important. Why? Because I am going to give you the must do questions. It's like a question bank directly given to you from all these four chapters that is sexual reproduction and flowering plants, principles of inheritance and variation, reproductive health, and human reproduction. So make sure you're watching this. If you are someone who is preparing for your unit test out there now there might be some people who have already given their unit test we are so sorry from our end uh, next time we won't repeat this mistake okay but forgive us for now and uh, help all your fellow friends who are going to give the unit test so this video is important make sure you watch it and not just watching it okay you have to practice the questions that i'm giving you over here they are really really important if you watch this i'm pretty sure you are gonna get so 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 good score out there in your unit test so let's begin up over here so starting with principles of inheritance and variation now this chapter uh, is there in some schools up to what do you call pleiotropy and polygeny which is why i have included those questions only until pleiotropy and polygeny so two marker questions that you can expect are these uh, questions would be based on your blood groups okay for example genotype the parent is this what would be what do you call uh, what will be the children's genotype and things like that okay you have to give example of codominance and there is multiple allelism all those things can be coming off from this question now what are the conclusions drawn by th morgan from the crossing experiments in drosophila you should know that what is a test cross th morgan selected fruit flies for his experiment why explain pleiotropy and polygeny explain linkage and recombination what are the seven characteristics studied by mendel if you want more question i can tell you right now also uh, who gave gene mapping it was Alfred Sturtwood, Sturtwood who gave the gene mapping method. So you have to talk about that. Who is Alfred Sturtwood? He is the, he is the what do you call, a student of T.H. Morgan. Now, who were the three, uh, what do you call, scientists who rediscovered Mendel's work? It was... You should know Koren, Semak, and Revives. All, all three people rediscovers Mendel work in the year 1900. The years are also important. Okay, so two marker questions goes like this. Now, five marker question What is incomplete dominance? Explain it with reference to the flower color and Snapdragon. Snapdragon is also known as Anterium, so don't get confused. Now, write the schematic representation of one gene inheritance in Pisum sativum. In that, you have to talk about capital T, small t, that thing. Okay, monohybrid cross, you have to talk about that F1 generation, F2 generation. Whenever you that make sure you're putting gametes then parents then f1 all of this thing okay now explain dihybrid cross and also explain the law deduced by it what is the law deduced by it the law of independent assortment and dihybrid cross you have to explain that you have to look forward for the genotypic and the phenotypic ratio okay it's the phenotypic ratio that is being asked in dihybrid cross and that is 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 in the case of monohybrid cross both the genotypic as well as phenotypic ratio is asked similarly over here in the case of snapdragon also please make sure you are going through the genotypic and phenotypic ratio okay now my dear children that's all about yo 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 that's all about this particular chapter because it's only until pleiotropy and polygeny if at all you can please refer to the laws of inheritance mendel's three law one law we just saw over here there are two more laws okay which he deduced after studying about monohybrid cross you can study there Okay, so seven characters were studied, seven characters, that means 14 traits were there. Now, if you are feeling that, ma'am, I don't understand what you are talking about, don't get confused. I have made a separate video on the complete revision. I can put it down in the comment section or in the description box. Please watch it. If at all you feel you do not have time, please watch it in 2x speed. You will at least grab some of the important things in your head. And that is really, really important. So, I am going to be that friend of yours who explains to you everything just a one hour before examination. So, I am that friend. Imagine me like that. Now, going ahead, you have sexual reproduction in flowering plants. You, The full chapter is there, which is why so many questions would also be there. Diagram-based questions are also there. Okay. So, differentiate between gaitonogamy, xenogamy, examples of clistogamous, chasmogamous plants. Okay. Now, clistogamous flowers are invariably autogamous. There is always seed setting. Why? Now, what is parthenocarpy and false fruit? Give examples for each. Differentiate between pericarp and perisperm. What is epomixis and polyembryony? Give examples. There is asteraceae, 
and the examples of polyamirani citrus fruits you should know all this thing okay explain the structure of pollen grain the outer layer is made up of what sporopollenin okay and those are the two marker questions now talking about the three marker question also when you talk about the structure of the pollen grain you should know what is its cells uh, there is generative cell and vegetative cell what is the shape of the nucleus of the generative cell what is the shape of the nucleus of the shape of nucleus of the vegetative cell all this small small details okay now write any four characteristics of flowers pollinated by wind so you should know examples of wind pollinated plants one is grass and then you have uh, this thing corn okay write any four characteristics of flower pollinated by insects you should know about that why uh, right explain any three outbreeding devices in flowers okay again there in there you have example of dioecious and monoecious plant examples of dioecious plants are really important examples of dioecious plants are really important please make sure you are going through that now what is double fertilization explain the ploidy of antipodal cells synergids and the egg cells all of them have different different ploidy right and also the central cell and also the central cell should know the ploidy of each of them what is the ploidy of the new cells which forms the perisperm so when you when you study this particular question you will be understanding what i am trying to tell you as of now okay so these are questions which are interrelated but still can give you multiple multiple views on things now five mark question explain the structure of megasporangium megasporogenesis microsporogenesis what is artificial hybridization now this question can be asked in different way what is that uh, crop improvement program which was introduced it was artificial hybridization okay so this is crop improvement program now over here you have diagram based question ls of grass embryo grass is what monocot so basically you are talking about the monocot you have to label all the parts of the monocot embryo then transverse section of what anther is there then describe the structure of dicot embryo is there then the structure of embryo sac is there okay so all of this is very very important now going ahead to the next chapter human reproduction you have three marker question and five marker question no two marker so parturition is induced by complex neuro endocrine mechanism that means nervous as well as endocrine system are involved what is that explain okay i have explained that during pregnancy the level of hormones are increased several fold in the maternal blood i'm not talking about the placental hormones there are other hormones thyroxine cortisol and things like that you should know that now list the function of human placenta apart from hormone secretion they are there for oxygen or uh, co2 transport and things like that briefly explain sex determination and human being list the hormones released by human placenta okay explain the so there are four hormones released by human placenta you should know it okay there is one hormone released by ovary during later phase of pregnancy and that is known as relaxin please study about that also so this is exclusively released by ovary during later phase of pregnancy during the end of pregnancy okay now explain the role of pituitary and ovarian hormones in all the phases of menstrual cycle so basically they're just asking you about menstrual cycle you should know when does fsh go up lh go down and things like that and also estrogen and progesterone now what is seminal plasma what is it rich in okay the secretions of the accessory glands are known as seminal plasma it is rich in what calcium fructose clotting enzymes and all of these things now five mark question write the schematic representation of spermatogenesis okay similarly you could be asked about oogenesis also steps involved in oogenesis write the two events that occur in the ovary and uterus during the follicular phase of menstrual cycle so the same thing can be asked in different ways okay can be asked in different ways so here we saw a question about menstrual cycle right yeah similarly a question can be asked like this as well okay secondary oocyte which is formed during oogenesis what is the new layer that it produces it is known as zona pellucida okay it is known as zona pellucida will it be there after fertilization all these questions could be coming in okay so at least these things general general things you should be studying okay if you study you will feel confident now going ahead diagram based question draw they are five mark questions okay draw neatly labeled diagram of the sectional view of the mammary gland my dear children and then the human female reproductive system and then the male reproductive system all of it you should be knowing very 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 important okay the see the diagram okay and then make take a copy write things down 
look at the labelings and try to label. When you try to label, you will find the missing pieces out there. That's the best way to learn. Okay. So that's there. And now going ahead with the next chapter that is reproductive health. To mark a question, mention the two medical grounds on which pregnancy are subjected to termination. Okay, what are emergency contraceptives? Write their hormonal combination. Okay, that is progesterone estrogen. What is infertility? Give reasons for infertility. What are the features of ideal contraceptive and things like that? And what are the measures taken for population control? All this thing very, very important. Okay, now three marker question, the popular and effective contraceptive include IUDs. Mention the types of IUDs with example of each of them. Very, very important thing. Now, IUDs are the best for spacing children. So, you can be asked like that also. What is that technique that is best for spacing children? Or what is the most widely accepted, what do you call contraceptive? One is IUD and the other one is oral pill. Both of them are, uh, what do you call, widely accepted. You can be asked a question about Saheli also. Saheli is the first non-steroidal drug that we have. You can be asked a question about that it's a contraceptive pill okay now suggest three simple processes through which we can prevent sexually transmitted diseases so there are certain processes you should know that now what is contraception briefly explain two so processes are like um, don't have multiple partners okay and go to doctor and then what was it use uh, contraceptives or not contraceptive use uh, uh, condoms these are all very very important important thing why condom is uh, best for contraceptive purpose and also because it prevents sexually transmitted diseases okay those that type of questions can also come in what is contraception briefly explain two barrier method and two surgical method to prevent conception explain assisted reproductive technologies in this you should know about everything if you trust you starting with IVF IVF has two things that you need to learn that is zift zift and then you have intrauterine uh, transfer and then you have gift that is separate thing okay there is gift there is icsixc and there is artificial insemination when do you need artificial insemination or intrauterine insemination is a part of artificial insemination so when do you need iui intrauterine insemination when my dear children this is low sperm count at this particular point of time within the uterus only it is semen has been inserted that is known as intrauterine insemination artificial insemination means you're giving it somewhere near the reproductive tract here you are specifically saying it's in the uterus okay so these are a few few things that you will get to know when you try to find the answers okay so please make sure you are trying to find the answers how by watching the video that i have already made okay you can watch it it will be really really important helpful for you guys okay and uh, okay what are the three three non-curable non-curable stds three of them starts with h genital herpes herpes okay hiv aids and then hepatitis b these are the three non-curable stds that you have okay so these are the very very important questions you will be getting questions from here you will be getting questions from the concepts that i have told you over here and it will be really really helpful for you so make sure you are practicing at least this it could help you really well okay and if at all you need any more help if you want me if you want to ask me anything any doubts that you have you can put it on the comment section i am here to help you out okay so don't think i'm the last person that you will contact with no 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 i should be the first person you should ask questions to okay and do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you are someone who have not subscribed yet we are coming back with sankal series again where we'll be starting to talk about uh, i will be uh, going ahead with the, with the chapter that is principles of inheritance and variation we stopped it somewhere right we have to continue with it so we are going to continue it really really soon so make sure you're subscribing for all the updates and for everything nice wishing you all the best bye bye take care